Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Geeks. My name is Barney and this is a place where I have to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned about travel, photography and productivity on the move. It's through this series of videos and through all the content I put out at travelgeeks.co to help educate and inspire you to make your travel more enjoyable. Thanks for joining me today guys. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple episodes about tier miles, air miles, loyalty miles, points, um, how to redeem, how to earn, um, and all that kind of stuff that we've covered in the last couple of weeks. If you've missed out on that, then you've missed out on something I'm very passionate about, so do go back and check out on that. And I'm gonna revisit that in, in future, but we're gonna have a few weeks uh, now uh, away from air miles, and we'll, we'll get back into, into them and um, some more information about um, finance and how that links into air miles um, but we're going to do that much later and we're going to have a couple of weeks now where we're going to just going to come away from air miles um, so the next couple of episodes including this one right here as i promised last week are going to be answering questions that i've received from you guys um, if you'd like to ask me a question and maybe it's something we can talk about and, and share on the show here uh, then all you need to do is head to travelgeeks.co uh, and just click the ask a question button uh, type in your question that will email to me and uh, i'll get back to you via email and then hopefully maybe i can talk about it here on travel geeks um, that's exactly, well, sort of, uh, before the question box existed, um, I was taken by Facebook and that's exactly what Amy did. Um, and Amy uh, was asking me about clothing, um, and more specifically about, uh, what clothing I travel with and how that varies a little bit, uh, depending on why I'm traveling and where I'm traveling to, um, about climates and, and things like that. Before I get right into that, um, I want to quickly tell you, because I normally forget, um, that the show notes, everything from this week, the links, the travel hack at the end, um, everything you can find at travelgeeks.co forward slash clothing. That's travelgeeks.co forward slash clothing. Everything from this episode you'll be able to find uh, there on the website. So yes, um, thanks Amy for the question. I said I promised I would uh, make an episode about it, uh, and here it is. Um, it's going to be a fairly brief episode in the sense that I can't give you any specifics, especially to you, Amy, I'm, uh, you might not want to wear the clothes that I wear. Um, there's obviously a very different gender gap and it also really depends on why you're traveling, how long you're traveling for, where you're going, what the climate's like, what time of year it is, um, what you'll be doing there. Um, so it, it does vary a lot. Um, there are some general tips, however. And I'm going to break this down. Um, I'm going to sh firstly, I'm going to share some uh, oversight into what I generally carry for a two or three day trip away. Um, in that time, I'll be photographing a wedding. Normally, um, I'll also maybe be catching up with some friends, um, doing a little sightseeing. Um, so just some general rounded clothing that that I carry, and also how that changes a little bit depending on what climate. So. One of my main principles when I'm packing my clothing is obviously everything needs to fit in my small uh, bag. So, or my, my small bags rather, the two bags, and most of it needs to generally fit around my camera gear from traveling for work. So it, it limits me a lot with what I can actually carry. So what I'm looking to carry is stuff that's gonna suit me for many different purposes. Um, and not to carry too many things that are bulky, I tend to carry stuff that's lightweight. Um, and the, the stuff that I do carry, like I said, has to pack all around my cameras. So I'm going to just sort of run through a little bit of a list of what I tend to pack and um, maybe offer some thoughts on each of those. So um, starting from undergarments, um, obviously the underwear you need for, for two or three days away, nothing much special about that other than, again, like I said, um, lightweight. Um, a lot of people, um, I don't actually do this much unless I'm traveling for long periods of time. If I'm traveling for, for work and stuff, I like clean, I clean underwear every day, but a lot of people, um, uh, myself included, merino wool is very good. Um, if it's something you, uh, if, you, if you're traveling for weeks on end, especially if you need to keep stuff down, uh, merino wool is definitely something to look into. Um, and it, it's a special fiber that um, allows, um, well, sorry, doesn't allow um, smells to take hold and it, it stays cleaner for longer. And I know a lot of people swear by it, so, so maybe check that out. Um, thinking about socks, um, if you really want to keep weight down, you can think about wearing ankle socks rather than full length socks. Um, it also means that if you're wearing uh, trainers with shorts or, or stuff where your legs on show, it doesn't look awkward and you have to roll things back. Um, so generally I'll pack at least one, if not two pairs of, uh, of ankle style socks so that they're, they're more versatile for wearing for different reasons. Um, okay, heading up the body, I'm going to talk about t-shirts. Now I is probably the thing I carry most of is two or three t-shirts, especially if it's going to be warm. I tend to sweat quite a bit. 
Um, I wear my t-shirts under shirts as well. So um, I like very thin t-shirts. Um, I, I have a load of t-shirts and I, I pack three or four of them for a two or three day, day trip away. Um, it's like my thing that I can do to feel the cleanest and or wear under. But the, re the key thing is, is really lightweight. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's, and that's the same for trousers as well. Um, jeans are, are not a great thing to, to be carrying around, um, especially when they get wet and, and wet and things like that. Um, not the greatest thing to be, to be carrying around. So um, again, with my trousers, they tend to be like activity style based trousers. Now, if I'm going to a wedding, I still wear these um, activity based trousers. They're, um, you know, polyester, nylon based. Um, I'm going to put a couple of links to uh, the, the trousers that I, or sorry, one link to the pair of trousers that I've got a few pairs of. Um, they're very smart, they're, they're black, uh, black in nature, very smart. Um, I wear two or three different pairs of them and I can wear those for a few days. They're comfortable to travel in, they're comfortable to work in and I can use them for all different types of scenario. Um, so they're, uh, I forget what brand they are, I'm going to check and they're going to be in the show notes, but I wear a lot of North Face gear. Um, jackets and stuff. My trousers aren't, but they are a similar outdoor brand. Um, and then, uh, so trousers, t-shirts, um, on top of that, shirts. Um, I tend to carry stuff that doesn't crease very much. Um, I will pack one smart linen style shirt, but I'll tend to wear that when I'm traveling on the plane, just so it doesn't get creased in the bag, especially if I know I'm not going to have any facilities to, to iron that later. Um, but the shirts I tend to carry are, again, outdoor styled, so you can roll them up, crease them up. I'm sorry, you can roll them up and they don't get creased. Um, again, you know, just thinking ahead and thinking when you get to the other end, just not having that worry to, to iron stuff. Uh, and lastly, um, is uh, what you're going to wear on top of your shirt if it gets cold, if it's raining. I tend to carry one light fleece, and if I think it may rain, I have got a really lightweight um, winter uh, coat. The coat doesn't have any lining in it, I just uh, have a, a North Face coat. Um, the lining all comes from a separate jacket. It's all about building layers um, so that you've, you've got those layers optional to you, um, but you don't have this massive big big fat coat that goes on but it's actually it's only raining and it's nice and sunny really but it's just raining a little bit and you're getting sweltering in it um, it's just about building those layers so that's what I'm carrying generally speaking uh, and most of that fits on my person um, the only situations where that changes a little bit is if it's more humid I might carry more t-shirts if it's gonna be uh, hotter I might carry another pair of shorts and one less pair of trousers Generally, I'll carry two pairs of trousers, one pair of shorts, unless it's, there's no way there's going to be sun. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, unless there's no way there's going to be sun, and therefore I will just uh, carry a couple of pairs of trousers. Um, and also something you might think about is not something I use a lot when I'm traveling for work because they don't really in fitting with, um, you know, with, with, with what I do. Um, but if I'm traveling for more for pleasure, then uh, cut-off shorts are another great thing um, outdoor from any outdoor store. Um, cut off shorts that you can wear um, as shorts and then also as trousers um, and just keep the extra parts of those. Um, so that's generally what I'm packing for two or three days. Um, that's what I've got if it's going to be um, if it's going to be humid. Um, the other the only other thing uh, away from that is that recently I've been uh, back to London for a few days. It's getting quite cold. Um, I also went to Stockholm recently. Um, uh, a couple of things extra to pack if it's going to be really cold. Um, if, if it's really cold, you can think about thermals. Again, that layer thing, something that's really lightweight. Uh, Marina wool, again, comes up with thermals. Definitely check Marina wool out for thermals. Um, I haven't used them that much this year. I haven't used them a and since the beginning of the spring, I haven't used my thermals, but it's probably getting into that in the next few weeks. Um, we're nearly heading into November now, so when I'm heading back uh, north, then I would definitely be packing my thermals um, somewhere in my luggage. Um, however, a couple of things obviously to always pack um, if you get cold, um, scarf, hat, gloves, common sense stuff. Um, so yeah, think about that. Um, so ultimately guys, really what I want you to take away from here, from the clothing is it depends is the real answer. This last five, 10 minutes is all about me saying it depends, I suppose. Um, but really what I wanted to put across is the layer system and, and to have layers um, packed in your bags so that you can choose what to wear and when to wear it uh, for what's appropriate for you. Obviously, if you're going for longer, if you're taking hold luggage, if you're away for a week more, if you're holidaying and working at the same time, then you need a lot more stuff. And if you've got the whole bag, then you can chuck it in there. I'm really shaping this around hand luggage and what you can fit into your hand luggage. I hope that answers your question sort of, Amy. Um, if it doesn't, um, hopefully it's been uh, helpful to some other people and it also allows me to talk about something that I don't normally talk about, clothing. Um, if you have any thoughts or um, if anyone has any uh, female orientated thoughts, then please do share them. I'd love to, to air them and point them in your direction and maybe we can 
put those on Facebook or, or on uh, the Travel Geeks website. Um, okay guys, before I close down this week's episode, I need to get on to the travel hack of the week. And the travel hack this week is gonna be kind of related to what I'm gonna be talking to next week, which is basically not the clothing that I pack, but the tech that I pack. The, the cameras, the computers, the wires, the cables, the chargers, um, anything else that's in my bag that's not really clothing related. So all that tech stuff is what I'm gonna be covering in next week's episode. However, what I wanted to get a little bit ahead on was the travel hack for this week is gonna be one of these. Now, what is this? I Hopefully you can see. Um, hopefully the side angle over here, probably will pick this up. I'm gonna keep it nice and still. Um, uh, this here is a uh, travel charger. It's obviously a travel charger. Um, but what's really great about these travel chargers is the fact that um, you can not only um, you can plug a UK socket into here and obviously you can get your normal Oz, your European two pin, your USA, and also you can go to back to UK. But when you come in from this side, you can also plug in other items that you may have that are, um, that may already have a European connection or a USA connection or an Oz connection or whatever it may be. So basically it's a four way in and out. So you can convert everything to everything. Um, or I mean, probably 90% of the planet, 90% of the planet. Um, so one of these I find really useful. Another great thing about this is that when you plug it in, you've also got two USB chargers. Um, so this is a great all round one socket plug that I carry absolutely everywhere. Um, I have a few things that I've got European um, connections for, so I can convert those back to the UK as well. Um, I can also, anywhere in the world, I know I can plug in with this. I've also means I can plug in, uh, I can charge my laptop and plug in an iPad and an iPhone at the same time, or I can charge my cameras and plug in an iPhone and a USB to Mac uh, charger as well. So it's a really all round great piece of kit. I'm gonna link to this um, in Travel Geeks. You can, find that at travelgeeks.co forward slash clothing. I'm gonna link directly to Amazon where you can buy one of these. They're like less than 20 quid, um, well worth an investment and much better than carrying three or four uh, different uh, adapters for things um, when one will do. So hopefully that's some help for you guys. Um, like I said, I'll link to the exact brand, make and model in the show notes. Um, okay, great guys, that's all for this week. Um, I hope that's been of some help to you, whether you've been interested in the clothing or just the travel hack at there at the end, and uh, the air miles the last couple of weeks. And next week we're gonna be talking, or I'm gonna be talking about um, the tech that's in my bag. So I get a few questions about what stuff I carry that perhaps you won't actually realize is actually anything meganly mindful out of this world, but just a few things that, and tips and tricks that I have that um, the things that I carry often. So I'm not going to go on any more, guys. Um, I'm going to thank you very much for listening to this episode. Like I said to you, all the show notes from this week, uh, all the links that I've been talking about, the clothing, the charger, everything else are all going to be in the show notes. And uh, this week, they're going to be at travelgeeks.co forward slash clothing. So if you head there, you'll be able to find everything. So thanks very much for, this, for joining me this week, guys. And I'll hopefully catch you again next week. Thanks very much. See you guys.